Hi, I'm Malia Jensen. I'm here at Elizabeth Leach Gallery with my show, Eremocene. Uh, I borrowed the exhibition title from biologist and naturalist and writer E.O. Wilson, uh, who coined it to mean the age of loneliness, uh, Eremocene, the era, the epoch we will enter if we continue to undermine the biodiversity of the earth. I think I've always aimed to make work that hits you at the gut. So my, my feeling about this body of work is that it does allow you to have an intuitive relationship with it and to have a non-verbal or non-word-based um, experience of thinking with your heart and with your gut and then kind of processing that as little or as much as you want to. I really like coming into the room and seeing the three video monitors together and having the, I, I keep being tempted to say cacophony, except that that's not it because it's such a quiet realm, but seeing 12 frames of the video cycling through at one time and this sort of wide vista of the animals, particularly if you sit on the floor and watch it. The glass pieces have a kind of funerary ode to human fragility. And I think with the context of the animal video, they have a poignancy that adds to what I imagine a sense of longing for nature and connectivity. Using Salt Lake's as sculptural material was intended to complicate the relationship between giver and receiver, between artist and audience. I could pretend that the animals like my work, but I'd obviously built the series as a parody of human hubris in imagining that they were there because of the work and not because they were drawn to the salt. Uh, realizing that I wanted to cast them in glass came as I was checking one of the cameras, which happened to be that hand with the holding the plum. The plum had a little isthmus of salt connecting it to the forefinger. It was so fragile that it, if it had been there one more day, it would have been gone. Glass was really the only option materially. I was drawn to it for its translucence and its freighted meaning as a synonym for fragility, but also its durability and roots in utility. Uh, the casting process came together like planets aligning, and I was able to spend 10 days at the Yucca Valley Materials Lab, which is Heidi Schweikler's project in Yucca Valley, California, working with Michael Endo, casting uh, a whole edition in basically 10 days time. The series is about, in part, human vulnerability, and particularly if we continue to act as though we live outside of nature. Well, I hadn't intended for this to be a series. But I started photographing mating insects 20 years ago. The first one was the ladybugs, uh, which was in my yard in Portland. And it was just something that, you know, you see, or I saw, like, it was a moment of intense observation. And I remember photographing them very well. And I made a sculpture based on that piece. So it's sort of, I can't, I, came across the photographs in my studio and thought, well, this completely fits with, with, with this show, with Eremocene and with my ideas of um, the persistence of the life force of nature.